How much is 17 and 14? 31. And how much is 26 and 35? 61. And how much is 30? Lucy, if you have so much trouble adding figures, why don't you learn to use the tabulator? Quiet. I don't want them to think that I can be replaced by a machine. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to cash this check, please. Yes, sir. Sid Caesar? Oh, I, I can't believe it. Look who you are. That's me, all right. Oh. Oh, well, this is quite a thrill. Well, you certainly know how to make people feel welcome. Oh, well, I've always wanted to meet you, Mr. Caesar. Oh, may I have your autograph? Certainly, thank you. Oh, you know, whenever you're on television, I turn my set off and go next door. You what? Uh, my girlfriend has a color set. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled. Oh, thank you. I can't uh, believe this. Now, uh, please, the, the check, please. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh... A thousand dollars. Yes, sir. A thousand dollars. Man cannot live by bread alone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny. <laughs> yes, sir. You, you want you want you want thousand dollars? Yeah. Well, uh, could I give you a thousand dollar bill? Well, that's not really very wieldy, you know. Oh, well, how about? Um, Ten one hundred dollar bills. No, you see, I, I'd rather have uh, smaller bills, say uh, some fifties, some twenties, and tens, and fives. Uh, oh, I, I, I have to add up fifties, twenties, tens, and fives, and, so it comes out exactly a thousand, huh? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, I tell you what, I'll put this right up here, and you just pick out what you want. <laughs> Those, uh, those 50s look delicious. I'll have a dozen of those. <laughs> and let me have uh, 10 of those pretty green 20s with the mid cents. Hmm? 10 20s. And I'd like, on those 10s look nice and fresh, I'll have 10 10s. 10 10s. Yes, sir. And give me a dozen and a half of those crisp, nice $5 bits. A dozen and a half? A, a dozen and a half. Well, a dozen. Oh, <laughs> there. Now, how much is that? That's nine hundred and ninety dollars. Nine hundred and ninety dollars. Yes. Oh, well, you, uh, you have you have ten more dollars coming. Yes. Uh, I'll uh, let me have ten of those uh, itsy bitsy singles. Oh, some itsy bitsy singles. All right. There you are. Ten little itsy bitsies. One thousand dollars. There you are. And here we are. Here's. Is ten dollars for yourself, eh? Oh no! Now you go buy yourself a pair of stockings. Oh, right? I couldn't. I insist. Oh well, now you really are so generous. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> well, thank you. Did you see who that was? Yeah. Oh, I gotta go tell Mr. Mooney. I, I met Sid Caesar. Put the money away, will you? Mr. Caesar, I assure you, the bank will do everything possible to prevent that forger from cashing any more checks on your account. Well, I should hope so. Well, now... Uh, Mr. See. Mooney, guess what? Oh, please, Miss Carmack, I'm busy. But this is important. Guess who I just cashed a check for? In person. Whom? Sid Caesar. Oh, no! Yeah! You cashed a check for Sid Caesar? Yes, and you should have seen him. He's a... <laughs> Who are you? Who do you think he is, you nincompoop? <laughs> I'm Sid Caesar. But if you're Sid Caesar, who is that man? That man was an imposter, a forger. Oh, but...
but he seems so nice. He even gave me his autograph. I mean, your autograph. He gives out lots of autographs, and on checks, and my checks. <laughs> How much was this one for? One thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, can I get you a glass of water? Better make it a bucket. I think I'll drown myself. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, when you cash a check, don't you ever ask for identification? Well, certainly, but who doesn't know Sid Caesar? You didn't! Oh, now, it wasn't my fault. He was so much like you, Mr. Caesar. Why, your looks, your physique, even your personality. Can't understand it. How can a man with so much going for him turn to crime? <laughs> I mean, look at these checks. He's forged 600. 1100 now a thousand. I mean, I, I mean, I wish I could afford to live like that. Yeah, me too. He, he sure must be a big spender. He even gave me ten dollars and told me to buy myself some stockings. Oh, fine. Now he's a big tipper. <laughs> with my money. Yeah. I mean, with uh, Mr. Mooney's money. Hmm. Mr. Mooney's money. It so happens the bank has to make good on those forgeries. Oh, oh well then, thank you for my stockings. <laughs> Quiet. I've got to figure out how we can catch that criminal. Yes, sir. Oh, I have an idea how we could tell the forger from Mr. Caesar. How? Well, look, when, when you come in to cash a check, we could have a little signal. Uh, you, you could go like this. And then I'll know it's really you. Mrs. Carmichael, you cannot ask a big star like Sid Caesar to go around making ridiculous gestures like this in a public place. Oh, not, no, Mr. Mooney. You did it wrong. It's with a thumb under. <laughs> She's right, Mr. Mooney. Most people go like this, with the thumb out. But with a thumb in, it's a good signal. The RAF used to use it a lot. The RAF? Well, they made a drop. They always went like this. I way. didn't know that. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought I just made that up. <laughs> well, from now on, this will be our signal, right? Okay, okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Carmichael. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Mooney. Goodbye. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? You're doing the thumb up. Thumb under. Thumb, thumb under. under. And then with the finger. Wait your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar. I'd like to cash this check, please. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you forgot something. Uh, like what? Our secret signal, so I'll know it's you and, and, and not the forger, remember? <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Oh, I remember, yes. No. Now, would you mind cashing the check now, please? Uh, uh Mr. Caesar. I hope you won't resent this, but on account of your forgetting our little signal and, and just for your own protection, to make sure that you're really you, uh, would you do me a favor? Uh, like what? Well, uh, I saw you in that show, Little Me, and, and you know the song that you sang to the girl in the second act? Oh, yes, yes, I remember, yes. Yeah, well, would you mind doing it for me? Well, you see, in the show, I, uh, I did it with a girl, and it's, it's very difficult to do it with other girls. Well, I'd be very happy to help I'm you. All... <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you see, in the show, it went uh, something like, like this. Uh, um, Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this with a real fine girl. That's a song. That's it. Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real fine girl. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze fogs up my glasses and buckles my knees. I'm simply drowned in the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a real life. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I, I hope you, uh, you, you weren't offended, Mr. Caesar, oh. but I just wanted to make sure it was you, you know? It was my pleasure, and with your brilliant mind, I know we're going to catch that for you. Oh, well, I certainly hope so. There you are, sir. $1,000. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 
what, uh, what was that little routine all about? Well, I just wanted to make sure that that was really Mr. Caesar, so I made him sing a song from the show he was in. Oh, that was very smart. May I see the check, please? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yes, that's Mr. Caesar's signature, all right. You know, I really don't know how you can tell the difference. That forger is so good. Well, when you've been around banking as long as I have, you develop a, a sort of know-how about those things of cunning, you know. You really are very shrewd. Oh, well, No, really, you, you are. I'm glad you noticed that. Oh, Mr. I... Mooney, the imposter. <laughs> no, I'll detain him. You get the security officer. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Caesar, how nice to see you. And what can I do for you today? Uh, well, first of all, I would like to have this... Uh... If, uh, if you would like hey, to have... There he is! There he is! All right, buddy, just come along. What's going on here? I'm Sid Caesar. Oh, no, no, no. The real Sid Caesar just left here. Yeah. But I am Sid Caesar. I have a gentleman... Look out! He's going for a gun! Oh, no! Oh, make a move. Just keep your hands up. Now, get over there to that counter. Put your hands on the counter and leave. I'm telling you, I'm just seated. Look, look inside my coat pocket. My coat pocket, look inside. All right, all right. Here, here. Mooney, you keep him covered while I press him. Now, just keep him covered. You stuff the look at him. That's the very thing. All right, easy now, easy. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is it? Some checks made out to Mr. Caesar in a deposit slip. Now, would a forger be putting money into a bank? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, you should be. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, well, this was a mistake so easily made. That man looks so much like you. Then maybe I should try to find a banker who isn't so fooled by every pretty face that comes along. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, Mr. Mooney. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's I don't, brilliant. I don't know. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh. It's even better than this. Oh, yeah. oh anything's better than this. <laughs> okay, Charlie, ten to win on Crystal Princess in a fifth. You got a best. Hiya, Rocky. Well, if it ain't my old pal Frankie the Forger, how's the action? <laughs> I'm still writing fiction. <laughs> Boy, you sure got a good racket going for you. A bank account like Sid Caesar's to write checks on, huh? It ain't as soft a touch as they think it is. You know, having to go around looking like the guy, acting like him, talking like him. And today, I even had to sing like him. And that ain't easy for a guy with a nice voice like I got, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for some lunch, boss? Yeah, I tell you what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have the knockwurst and sauerkraut and some of those nice, crispy, brown lionese potatoes. <laughs> How about you, Frankie? I can recommend the knock whisk. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, no, no, thanks. Uh, Caesar's still on a diet, I'll, I'll take my usual. How does cheese and skim milk? How does cheese? Uh, well, I didn't mind looking like Caesar, you know, years ago. But since he's been on that diet, it's been killing me. I liked him better when he was a big, fat slob, you know? <laughs> How long it's been since I, I've seen a pizza or a lasagna? or a banana split, or a strawberry shortcake. And it ain't bad enough he ain't wants to be thin, but dig this crazy hairdo. <laughs> in the old days, I used to walk into a nightclub, the girls in the chorus would wink at me, huh? You know who winks at me now? The boys in the chorus. <laughs> hey, yeah, boss. Not worse than sauerkraut, with lionese potatoes. And for you, Frankie, cottage cheese and skim milk. <laughs> That looks great. Mm. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> 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 if 
he wants to waste away to nothing, that's his business. But I can't take it any longer. I can't go on like this. Sick of him. Give me Frankie. Give me Frankie. You can't quit now. You're in your prime. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to that bank and lay a big one on them. I'm going to forge one for 10,000 bucks. 10,000? Yeah. And then you know what I'm going to do? A what? I'm going to take a trip to Europe, hit all those famous restaurants and eat everything in sight. Yeah, you remember the, the way I used to eat in the old days? Boy, do I. And I was the only guy you ever saw in a cafeteria that needed a caddy. <laughs> Why did I have to look like Sid Caesar? Why couldn't I have looked like Jackie Gleason? Oh, boy. Yeah, then I couldn't eat everything, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, no. Hey. Marvin. Let me do the control. Oh, Mr. Looney, that payroll we had to handle this morning was so heavy that our cash on hand is nearly depleted. Well, call the main branch and have them send over $50,000. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, remember, Mrs. Carmichael, the security officer and a policeman are stationed in my office. Yes. If Frankie the forger shows up, you press the intercom button three times. Don't worry, sir. Right. Uh-oh. What? I better start pressing. Good. Catch him passing a bad check. Good morning, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, good morning, Mr. Caesar. You want to cash a check? Yes, you see, uh, last night I got a telegram from Las Vegas. They opened to come up and open up. Oh, I see. Oh, a thousand dollars. Yes, I need some going away money, you know what I mean? Ah, uh -huh, some going away money. Well, I'd be very glad to oblige. In fact, uh, we've even arranged a little going away party for you. Oh. Thank you, right, thank you. Hey, hey, what's going on here? We finally caught up with Frankie the Forger. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Frankie DeForge, I'm Sid Caesar. Oh, no, you're not. The real Mr. Caesar agreed not to cash any checks until we caught you. I know, but that's what I was trying to explain to you. When I got home last night, I got a telegram that you tells me... You can tell that story to the judge. Yes, come on, Frankie. Look out. <laughs> I'm Sid Caesar, don't you understand? Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this. <laughs> Come on, we're taking it. I'm glad 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 I'm Well, congratulations, Mrs. Carmichael. My idea really worked, didn't it? It certainly did. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and you can fool all the people some of the time, but you better not fool around with us, huh? <laughs> That's very good, very good. And Mrs. Carmichael, as a reward, I would like to take you to lunch to my club. Lunch at your club? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I think you, you deserve it. You thank really you. you. Oh, look, here's the real Mr. Caesar. Oh, boy, so it is. Hello, hello, Mr. Caesar. Hello. Hello. Nice Hi there. You. Well, Hi. we did it. Yeah. You, uh, you did what? We caught Frankie the forger. Yeah, they, they, they took him out just now. Oh, they did? Yep, yeah. yeah, my idea really worked. Yeah. By you agreeing not to cash any checks, the minute he walked in here, we knew who he was. Uh, hey, now that Frankie the Forger's out of the way, maybe I can cash a check without all this rigmarole going on. Right? <laughs> of course, of course. It's a big one, you know. Well, it's your money. <laughs> you see, I'm leaving uh, on a tour of Europe tomorrow, and oh. I'll, I'll need uh, 10,000 now. So, uh, 10,000. Well, I, I don't think we have that much cash cash on the hand. Oh, you right don't now. have it, huh? Well, but we will just as soon as the messenger arrived from our main branch. Well, how long will that take? Oh, about an hour. It will take an hour, huh? Well, now, you don't have to wait around, but why don't you join us for lunch? Sure, we can sit over and catch you Frankie the Forger. Yeah, good. Okay. Are you sure they caught us Frankie the Forger? Oh, yeah. And are you sure they put him in jail? They just waltzed him out of here. Yeah. Oh, well, then let's go, shall we? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Well, thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Goodbye. What did he say? Well, Frankie the Forger still claims that he's Sid Caesar. Oh, honestly. You know what else? What? They let him out on bail. They let him out on bail? Yeah. Out on bail. That, they let him out on bail. That's, I, I think that's terrible. The way they let criminals walk around scot-free these days, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder if he paid his bail with a check. <laughs> He 
are, miss. Chicken cacciatore, baked lasagna, and broccoli with hollandaise sauce. Oh, so. that looks beautiful. <laughs> and for you, Mr. Mooney, roast turkey with oyster dressing, apple fritters, candy jams, and homemade cornbread. Uh, oh, that looks delicious. My and for your order, sir, cottage cheese and skim milk. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't that really all you're going to have? You ought to try this turkey. Oh, now, now Mr. Mooney, it's not nice to tempt someone when they're on a diet. Oh, no. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, this lasagna is the best I have Man, ever tasted. I'm so glad. They do it very oh, well. What do you have? I have the turkey with yeah. the oyster dressing. Oh, I love it. I oh, love it. I well, can't go on like this. Operator. Get me the police. The, the police? What do you want with the police? I can't stand this any longer. I can't go on like this. I've got to do... Hello, police. I'm in the dining room of the Lafayette Men's Club. Come and get me. This is Frankie the Forger. <laughs> That's right. Frankie the Forger. You are Frankie the Forger? Yes. And before the cops get here, I'm going to have some food. Real food. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Bring me pork chops and a squab stuffed with oyster dressing. Then a stuff a squab and a turkey and some lasagna and black-eyed peas and candy jams and corn pone and Virginia hams, hot bread and turnip beans, fat back and lima beans, and that's what I like about the South. <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir. Bring me a corned beef sandwich, all fat. Oh. <laughs> now you're going to see some eating and some food. <laughs> all right, Frankie, let's go. We just got a call to pick you up. You got here so fast. Well, we were cruising in the neighborhood. But the way they just took my order for lunch, you understand? Well, like... Don't worry about your lunch. We'll give you some nice bread and water down at the station. I'll Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Carmichael, do you realize what's happened? Yes, we finally got Frankie the Forger arrested. We also got Sid Caesar arrested. <laughs> One of our biggest clients. Oh, no. Yes, that's what and we... another got... thing, Frankie the Forger. If you try to plead innocent, I'll be there to appear as a witness against you. Take care of my way. How are you doing, Mr. Mooney? How do you do, Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, Carmichael? <laughs> nice to see you. It is? I, 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 I thought you'd be furious. So did I. I just came over to apologize. Apologize? Of course, it was my fault. I wasn't supposed to cash a check, and uh, I got you all confused. Oh, well, no, you know, that is awfully nice of you. Isn't that nice oh. of him? I just... <laughs> oh, oh, but, well, won't you, won't you join us for lunch? Yes, oh, man, please do. Thank you. Oh, yes, please oh, do. Oh, you don't know how relieved yeah, we are. Oh, oh, my that goodness. Oh, other fellow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, may I ask goodness. a question? How did you catch this Frankie the Fortune? Huh? Well, he gave himself up. He said he couldn't stand being on a diet anymore. That's right. And you know what else he did? He ran off with my drumstick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like a brand, like a team. Well, it serves him right. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a man who lacks willpower. Me, I have willpower. Yeah, me too. You know, last year I made up my mind I wasn't going on any more diets, and I stuck to it. <laughs> Here's the food you ordered, sir. Food? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, waiter, Mr. Caesar doesn't want that now. He has cottage cheese and skim milk. Oh, thank you. Wait! <laughs> you say it! <laughs> Look at this food. Oh, my. Look at this here. Huh? Look at that. Look at this food. Oh, I'm not such a fool. Oh, boy. It's good. <laughs> You'll never need this. <laughs> The Lucy Show.